Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a little bit of time since I last uploaded, but that is because life has slowly started getting back to normal and that's a good thing. So basically I've just been working really, really hard. Um, we had a really good break during lockdown and there's something in my eye. But since we hit level one or even actually quite level two, things started picking up quite a bit. So I just haven't had time to do any videos. But, but today, today we are back and we are filming and we are doing an exciting spring slash gym try on haul. Since things started getting back to normal, the gyms also opened. It's not a new thing. The gyms have been open for I think the past two months. But I have only just recently mustered up the courage to put on gym clothes, scary as it may look on me, and get my ass to gym. So I've done that, but before I did that, I realized that I didn't have enough attire or accessories to go back to gym. Also, I changed gyms because I wanted to go to a gym that had a pool so I can swim because I love swimming. So I had to buy a swimming attire. And as you know, when you swim in a gym pool, you have to wear a lot of crazy stuff um, for safety reasons. So anyway, long story short, spring haul because we are currently in spring. It is like 30 degrees Celsius in Johannesburg every single day. I am struggling to live. So I bought some things just to get me through and get me ready for spring because I mean don't we all just love a little bit of retail therapy at the beginning of every new season and then I also picked up some gym things so if you want to see what I picked up and if you like gymming and if you like fitness and if you like sunny weather then please give this video a thumbs up down below leave me a comment subscribe and keep watching okay so first up we are going to start with the little spring items i didn't get too many things simply because if you watched my previous vlog i think it was two videos back i did do a small parade haul because we went to parade for the day and it's a small town here um, in Gauteng and we went there just to kind of chill for the day and I did buy a few little things for the rooms and the house and um, I got some earrings so I will link that vlog up here or up here if you would like to check it out but I just wanted to get like um, some pretty things and actually I was not planning on buying any spring stuff in the beginning of the season simply because I think I had so much stuff from the last season and I felt like I didn't wear it enough so I didn't really go out to buy anything. I was grocery shopping one day and I walked past Pick and Pay Clothing and I don't normally shop at Pick and Pay Clothing simply because I like quality clothing but I mean they have really stepped up their game of recent because I picked up this pretty summery spring dress and the material is really good quality i'm actually quite surprised it's from real woman and it's a size small and it just looks like this it has buttons down the middle it has a little tie belt if you want to tie anything if you want to tie this around your waist or the back and it just goes all the way down it's pretty long um and then the bottom it just looks like this this comes to about halfway down my calves. Um, I will be inserting images of me with this on, but it is the most breathable, soft material ever. Um, and it just is pretty. I mean, what better color than white and some floral to get you into the spring mood? So I picked this up. I think this was about like two, just over 200 Rand. It was really affordable. Um, and then it just has some little sleeves and a little collar and I've worn this already like once or twice and I love it. I love it and also you can adjust how tight and how loose you want it on your waist with this belt which is something I really appreciate because I mean let's face it we all picked up a little bit of 
kilograms in lockdown. Okay, and then next up, I picked up some shoes. I just got two pairs of slip-on sandals. And the first pair was these white sliders. I think that's what you call them. And I picked this up because I thought they would go really nice with my dress. I already have white sliders, so I mean, I didn't need more. But these were really pretty. And I think they're just so simple. It's really nice to just wear these on jeans, wear these on a skirt or a dress, especially for this hot weather, because I think like the older I get, the more my feet swell up when it's really hot in the summer months. This never used to happen to me when I was younger. I don't know why it's happening to me now, but these are a woman's best friend in the hotter weather. So these are in a size three and they are also from Real Women. The second pair of shoes I got was a pretty diamante black sandal. I have worn these every single day since I bought them. As you can see, they are quite worn out already and I need to give them a little bit of a wash, but are the most comfortable slip on sandals I have in my cupboard right now. And they have a little, kind of gap between the toe and you just kind of slip your foot in and this part is really nice because it gives the shoe kind of personality but also it, there's enough room so if your feet do swell up there's enough room and expansion for your foot to still fit in there and the toe part gives you support and this does not hurt me at all normally these toe separators in shoes do hurt me in between my toes but these ones don't, and I simply love them. I wish I picked up another pair. They had this kind of sandal in different colors, um, but black is a girl's best friend. So I picked up these. I might go back and pick up another one, and these were also from Pick and Pay, and these are in a size three. Okay, moving on to gym wear and accessories. Now, I did pick up quite a bit of stuff, simply because I hadn't Gym, I think since February or March of this year and some of the stuff I had previously had gotten a bit tighter so I did need to restock up on some essentials and then obviously things for the pool. So first up I picked up some gym shorts and these are the first pair. They look just like this. They are a very stretchy material and they have a drawstring here to adjust it based on your perfect size and they just have like a support um, padding section in the front and the back just looks like this and there's some little detailing here this has like a orange ombre with the blue a little bit of blue so it gives it some character and these go just above my knee that's where they end and they are super breathable so nice um, and they do allow you to exercise. I mean, I could stay in these the whole day. And then I also picked up another pair of the same gym shorts. These, this is a more colorful one. It just has the one leg is just plain black. And this leg is kind of like rainbow electric vibes, kind of, you know, disco party feel. Also drawstring, very stretchy very stretchy very stretchy material these also finish just be just above my knee love those and then next up i bought a like a mini short it's not booty shorts it's just like a mini kind of swimming material shorts i wouldn't say board shorts because that's more a men's kind of shorts, but for ladies, especially if you are wearing a costume of any sort, I particularly don't like to wear costumes without a sarong or shorts. I don't know, I just feel almost naked, not wearing anything on the bottom, especially in the gym where there's like a bunch of strangers that you don't know. I don't particularly want them looking at my butt. So I picked up these shorts. These are swimming shorts, very breathable. This is almost like that lycra material and inside it's just very breathable one layer kind of thing they are black um, and the shorts do go up a bit here the hemming does go up a bit so it gives your legs a bit of shape um, and the top is just a plain kind of stretchy strap 
and these I wear on the bottom of my swimming costume when I want to go swimming and I mean I've worn it once already and I love it love it it's so comfy you could even sleep in them next up is just a basic full black costume it looks just like this um stretchy as usual i got these in a small um it's very tight very comfortable um the back just looks like this it just has like a cross v-neck with like a little hole here um there isn't any padding in here but i mean that's fine um black kind of camouflage is everything and yeah just a basic costume for the pool for the gym pool um i don't particularly like wearing colorful costumes to the gym so a nice black one just kind of lets you blend in really nicely next up i got these cute little gloves is that what they call they're called gloves or hand mitts or i don't i don't know what these are called um but they are just basic gloves that you would wear to the gym. This is also really nice because I feel like sometimes your hands get super dirty by touching all of that equipment in the gym, especially in the times of COVID. So not only is this really good for like weightlifting and holding bars and that sort of thing, but it also kind of, I think, stops the germs from touching your skin. And all I do is I just sanitize, every time I walk past a sanitizer bottle in the gym, I'm just gonna go and then we are done. So these are just basic plain gloves that I've been using to the gym. Really nice, really comfortable. They don't restrict your hands at all. Um, yeah, and they pink. So that's a plus. Next up, I got a pool towel because I don't have any pool towels at home, number one. And number two, I wouldn't want to use my ba my bathing towels to take to the pool. So I got a specifically designed pool towel for the gym. And it is just this pretty lavender color. It is in the normal pool, normal towel size. Um, and what's interesting is that this towel has this section here. I don't know if you can see. And there is a zip. So you can actually open the zip and you can put something in there so it doesn't open at the bottom but it opens at the top so you just have this part here that you can put something in I mean I suppose you could use it if you're doing any floor work and maybe put like a padding here for a pillow or you could just carry your bath essentials costume pool essentials in there and keep it there sunblock sunglasses um, that sort of thing so you don't, you're not carrying like an extra bag. I think it's revolutionary. I think this is like the most amazing thing ever. I've never actually owned a pool towel like this before. Um, but I think it's awesome. I haven't yet tried using it. I haven't put anything in there as yet. But I mean, maybe if we go on holiday in December, I might take this with me and test it out. And also what's great is that the other side of the towel has like a little hook. So once you're done, you can actually just hook your towel on a hook to dry, which is also very convenient because hardly ever do towels stay on hooks. Next up is just some more pool essentials. So if you guys are aware, when you go and you swim at the gym's pool, you aren't allowed to swim without goggles or a, a pool cap, a head cap. So these are the eye goggles that I picked up. I don't know if they're called eye goggles, but this is the Senior Swordfish Eye Goggles and it's UV 400 protection, scratch protection, anti-fog technology. And it comes with earplugs. And then the goggles just look like this. So it's just normal basic goggles for the pool and you can adjust the straps here. It is quite hard to get on but it is stretchable so that's good and it has like suction technology so when you put this on your face it kind of sucks and sticks to your face so that the water doesn't come in and mist you up and blur your vision. So it's actually quite cool. I have used it before. I do need to adjust the straps because it is very tight for me at the moment but so far so good i've been enjoying it 
very much. And then I also picked up this pretty little pool cap. Now I hate wearing pool caps. It is not my journey in life and I hate putting them on because they always are like five times smaller than your head. But the instructions on this one say to like put your hands in between and then extend and pull down. So I did that. The one thing I didn't realize is this is not that rubber material. So when you wear this, your hair does get wet. And I didn't buy the rubber one because that like pulls out half my head of hair when I'm using it. So it's kind of like a lose-lose situation with these pool caps. But I mean, pink is great. It makes me feel good. At least I have it and I can swap. So that is fine. And then second to last, a, whoa, my key just fell out, is this pretty little lock. Now obviously this is just to lock your locker at the gym and it comes with a key, standard. Um, you can get these at Builders Warehouse or Leroy Merlin. That one I think was from Builders Warehouse, but Mr. Price Sport also has lockers for, I mean, <coughs> padlocks for gym lockers and then lastly I picked up this is it called a sweat belt or a waist belt and all this is is that it has like a little velcro section here and you wrap this around your waist and you put your shirt over it and you gym and basically it just enables you to sweat and when you sweat, you lose weight. So I bought those because I wanted to try it out. I did hear quite a few things about these sorts of belts. They're available all over the show. So I got mine from Mr. Price Sports and I just wanted to see if it actually does assist in weight loss. I've been using it a lot for the last couple of days at the gym. I have been sweating, but I haven't seen a massive difference, but also it's been a couple of days. So. I'll let you know how, how I get on with this. Okay, and with that, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you liked the things that I bought. I hope it gave you ideas to maybe get some stuff that you maybe need. I don't know if I mentioned, but all the gym equipment and gym attire I got from Mr. Price Sport, they have the most stunning range of gym stuff you ever need at affordable prices. So you're not paying an arm and a leg for something very basic and very simple that you need for the gym. So definitely check them out. You can pay clothing, thumbs up to them. They're doing amazing things with their clothing line. I didn't give them enough credit before, but I mean for random, like I mean that dress and comfy clothes for home, I think, I think they're pretty good. And their prices are affordable because I mean they are a pick and pay brand. Other than that, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day or night, wherever you are, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!